Hello guys, I am back from another video and yes, I am back from my whole um resting thing. Yeah, today's um brand new video is going to be what if Deku had the all spark as a quirk? So yeah. I mostly gotten the inspiration from um what if Deku had um had a Transformers type quirk which I really didn't like because of mostly mostly everything i just really don't like it so yeah i'm going to doing i'm going to be doing it in my version of the story so yeah so izuku is running through the forest and izuku is about like um 5 years old right now as inko is bringing izuku to a cabin while well, several men wearing black suits and ties following them with several men like um holding guns and others with quirks. As um Inko says, Izuku, hide in the bed. As Izuku says, Why mom? As she says, I'll be okay, Izuku. As she starts going out, as all of them say, Where's the boy? As as Odin say, if you don't give us the boy, you're dead. As she says, I won't let you get him, you monsters. As Odin say, open fire. As Inko dies, getting shoot, getting burned, getting stabbed by several men. As Izuku sees it all in the window, Izuku starts getting mad. So the vehicle starts transforming, transforming into robots, almost animalistic, some even transforming into um, birds, wolves, even bears, as Izuku says, kill them. As they kill all of the, so kill all of the men, as one of them says, please, please have mercy, please. As Izuku standing over him, he says, destroy. As he gets a large crystallized sword, as Izuku slashes him right through the stomach as he dies. So, all the robots start transforming back. Some of them either tr um, turning into dust or just breaking down as Izuku crying over um, his mother's body, as Izuku says, all people are nothing, nothing but, as he leaves, as he goes back in the cabin and starts crying all night. So, yeah, which is basically what, um, Deku's personality is, all people are scumbags. Nothing else to him is good, except for his mother. So, yeah. Izuku wakes up from all of that horrible, horrible night. Izuku is now six. As Izuku starts reading about, um, um, so Izuku lives right next to, like, a garage. And under the garage is basically like a World War II like um um station where the Japanese like get all of their tanks and shit. Mostly um jet planes and tanks. As Izuku starts wait for a second guys. So he finds a yellow car almost like beaten up and shit. He sees like graffiti all over it. And when he tries to open up the the hood there's several like fucking rats all over it. One of them almost tried to bite his arm off. So, after that, he starts like repairing the, the vehicle. So, he starts going down into the basement where the World War II like tanks and um airplanes are in there. He finds a jet plane mixed with a um tank, which is all broken up and shit. So, Izuku likes um. It's pretty strong because of his quirk, which I'm going to talk about now. 
So, this quirk is basically like a mix of a um, Technomancer quirk mixed with a Strength Enhancer. Mixed in with like um, Yagurose's quirk of creation. So, he's able to create like crystals which basically is food to the, to the Transformers. Which is called um, Energon, I believe. I can't remember since I watched um, Transformers because, well, st it's still pretty much horrible, in my opinion, the series now. Sorry about that. It's just my cousin who's basically the comedy of relief now. <laughs> so, Izuku's basically now um, just getting all of these... Um, tank um slash um um jet which is now fused together izuku tried to like fuse them together as izuku tries to get um the gigantic um j um um yellow um car which he left outside izuku's um is basically reading on on like hydraulics and um i can't remember the thing it's like Rules about robots are I can't remember and shit. <laughs> God. Izuku's um quirk just allows him to basically create like the transformers themselves, just by um um touching like a vehicle, at least something that has an engine at least or connected to the internet, like for example um. It has electricity. Yes. Remember that one time that the that maybe the terrace part is it called? Terrace park, right? You touch a vending machine. Yeah, yeah. Transform into a freaking trans a Megatron. Yeah. I mean to a um, Decepticon. Yeah, a Mount Dew Transformer. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Yeah. And have you seen like this um part in the Transformers um Revenge of the Fallen movie, which I still hate. But have you seen that part that is where there's like this robot that has a laser dong? <laughs> Uh, that still scarred me. So anyway, so anything that has to like electronics and engine and shit, or connected to the internet, he can be transformed. Wait, wait for a sec. So after like um getting um the the tank which is now fused with the with the jet, and also that yellow car, he starts transforming them. Izuku says. Arise as they start transforming. The, the yellow car starts transforming into maybe like um a ten feet um robot with two horns and blue eyes, and the other one a tan almost um like um World War Two style um helmet with a monocle, a red monocle, and has wings and a German accent. As one of them say, Hello, the name's Bumblebee. As the other one says, Hello, my name's Blitzwing. I can't do a German accent because I kind of forgot how to do one. Let's do a French. <laughs> a French accent? About Slavic. <laughs> Suka blit, <my> name. <laughs> Okay. Suka blit. Who is this? <laughs> God, so horrible. So <laughs> What the? What is this comrade? <laughs> He's like, hmm. It seems that we have been uh, revived. As his face starts transforming into a red, angry face, as he says, "Who is this?" Almost like. It's angry as he says, Hello, Commander! As he kneels down. As he starts transfer transforming his, uh, his face again, but this time it's pitch black with red eyes and almost a reddish mouth. As he's basically crazy, he starts saying, Oh, hello, little child! As Izuku's kind of terrified but also intrigued. As they said, we are loyal to you, master. As Izuku says, good. Izuku tells them to basically clean out the, the junkyard, which is basically 
almost like about to like fall down it's basically a mountain of like scrap metal all of them start um as in all of them i mean bumblebee and blitzwing over here yeah this guy they start like um putting all of this um trash um like about almost away from the from this um cabin slash um junk on oh, the junkyard i meant um garage izuku tells them to just transform back uh transform back and go inside of the into like the bunker as they start going down as izuku says <sighs> guess i'll start going hunting so after a few years izuku's now like 13 <sighs> izuku um has been um a little bit stoic in his um pronunciations he is emotionless he doesn't really care about anything but getting revenge on all of these people that killed his mother so izuku after that whole thing he's um basically started creating more robots one of them specifically called megatron which he um gotten all of that scrap metal that he gotten from um from his first um um using of his quirk and created megatron which is a um helicopter which can transform into a um wait for this a gigantic large oversized dragon with two heads you know the name megatron is trademark right this is the the name megatron is trademark okay gigatron then very good okay let's just call him gigatron because for trademark reasons gigatron says hello master as izuku says can you just get me some more scrap metal or shit as a few weeks has gone by as the news is ta telling about this gigantic metal dragon with two heads stealing like um several um cars around the city as some heroes are basically saying in their minds is this magic or something or if it's a villain so one of them specifically um um midnight decided to um she decided to basically um check this out so they basically get in this like really really nice car maybe like a um hmm. Disaster road. <laughs> okay he finds a large terrifying um terrifying i mean um basically a testarossa lamborghini which you don't know it's a really fancy car so megatron decided or gigatron decided to get that car as they start following it specifically midnight so as they reach the forest as they see izuku telling gigatron to basically put it down into like junkyard as gigatron says yes master as he throws it down with um great force as izuku says be careful you know how expensive it is as he says oh right master i'm sorry as Gigatron uh, goes down to like his base, as Izuku says, oh, 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 This is going to be interesting because Izuku is basically a connoisseur of any type of car. Any type of car he sees, boom, he's going to transform it into a, into a transformer or something. So Midnight says, Hey, you kid. As Izuku says, Who are you? As she says, why are you stealing all of these cars? As Izuku says, well, I'm a connoisseur of all types of cars and vehicles. And you're not allowed to be in my um home. As she says, home? Oh, who are your parents? As Izuku says, I don't have parents. As she says, what? Izuku says, my mother, she's over there. As she sees a skeleton over there, she says, what happened, kid? Izuku explained his whole backstory. 
and it's in like um a microphone like in her ear as everybody hears it including all might which he's basically intrigued as izuku says well why are you here as she says well lately your so-called minion has been stealing all of these cars as izuku tells gigatron to get over here as gigatron says yes master izuku says why did you steal all of these cars as um gigatron says oh i thought you might like them as izuku says i said abandoned cars as he says oh i'm sorry as izuku says Ugh. fine i'll give you all of these back just as long as you give me like um maybe like abandoned cars or something as she says maybe you can stay with us kid as izuku says no thanks i would rather stay here because well it seems calming to me so yeah izuku has been like um staying there for like a few years to the point that he doesn't like to go to the outside world as she leaves with everybody in like um wait for a second guys within everybody in ua including the teachers are intrigued by this boy one of them nezu says so you know what this is quirk midnight as she says yeah his quirk is called um all spark which he's able to create robots and create crystals which the robots can eat or he can transform them into weapons as nezu says huh what an interesting quirk <laughs> oh, what is it so nezu says so this kid does he want to join you a eh? as midnight says no he seems to prefer to stay at home as one of them specifically um um aizawa says so this kid why does he um why did he um decide to don't um go to the outside world as she says well apparently his mother died because of these men and he said men what do you mean by that she says that the men they seem to want his um want him as nezu says it seems um we have all for one's minions as um all might says <sighs> all all for one he seems to want his quirk because he wants to make an army as um midnight says yeah so they conspired and they said maybe we should as nizu says yeah we should so this is going to be the end of the video so yeah so i hope you like the video comment and subscribe and i hope to see you guys next time Bye bye